Hey there, welcome back, Shobham this side. Now in this lecture, let us talk about delete any node at a particular index. So if I jump back to my writing space, here in this part we need to talk about all the cases that we can consider while deleting a node. So there are chances that we need to delete a head, that means index position 0. There will be a chance when we need to delete the final position that is index position of tail which will be equals to size minus 1. And we also need to discuss about a case in which our input is invalid, that means less than 0 or greater than our size, and then a case where we have to delete any particular position. So let us talk about this one by one. So the first case is when input is invalid, we can return either minus 1 or anything else. The second thing is when we need to remove our head. So at this point of time, this is our head. Let me give it a tag. And this is our tail. So if we need to remove this element, so all we have to do is update this position and change our tag. That means I remove the connection from this particular element. That means I remove the connection from this particular node and that's it. It will be destroyed in garbage value. So let me talk about this case when index position is equals to zero. If index position is equals to zero, all we have to do is start our current value from our head, go to our next value that is this part and then I just need to update this prev, this part and I just need to refer it to none. That's done. And now I am going to store my head that means my new head with this particular value. So the easiest thing I can do is I can either take cursor which will be referring to this particular part. So my head dot next. So I'm referring to 6 and now this cursor which is my 6 dot prev which is this part and I'm going to call it as none. So that means we have disconnected this connection. We have updated the prev. The second thing I need to do is I also need to update my head. So now this tag should be given to our head dot next. So my head will be will be head dot next which is my cursor. That's done we have updated our head. So now this is not our head our head will be this and we have also removed our connection. That's done. Now this particular link list has no connection with this node. So this will be referred as garbage and will be destroyed. This is the first important point. Remember after doing all this we need to decrease the size by minus 1. That's done. So this is the first case in which we are targeting head. Now let me talk about second case in which we need to delete tail. So whenever we are referring to tail at this point of time our size is 4. So I'm taking s as size for now. So if index position is given as 3 that means s minus 1 then we are going to remove our tail. So if this is the case, all we have to do is destroy this point of connection. That means the connection that we have at this point of time, destroy this connection and then update this element as tail. So this is my tail. So I just need to catch this element. What I'm going to do is just let me call this something. Let me take this as current itself. So this is our current. So our current will be equals to our tail dot prev. So this is our current. Now what I need to do is I just need to update the value of our current. So current dot next at this point of time refers to this tail. What I can do is I can refer this as none. So we have updated this. So that means we have removed this particular connection. So we have just destroyed this one. Now this particular link list don't have any connection with this node. Also let me update my tail. So my new tail tag will be given to this current. That's done. That is all the hard work that we need to do. Remember after doing all this we need to decrease the size. Remember while applying all this we need to take one consideration also. That if we are targeting this tail or if we are targeting this head we need to check if this particular element for head exists or not or if this particular element for tail exists or not. What if the case is we only have one element? If that is the case, all we have to do is just refer our head as none. 
and refer as tail as none. So in our linked list, it will be empty and this will be inside garbage and that will be deleted. We will add this point while writing code, so don't worry. Now we have covered all the three cases, value is invalid, when value is zero, index position, when index position is tail. Now we need to talk about the fourth case when index position is something like one, two or something in between. So let's talk about this. Let me clear this up and then discuss about that. Now let us talk about our fourth case in which we are going to discuss when index position is something else. That means everything else apart from these three cases. So whenever we are referring to this new index position in which suppose I'm going to take index position as two. So what I have to do is I have to reach this point that is using a while loop as usual and I'm going to store my current here. So my current is going to refer this and I'm going to create a connection with this part and I'm going to create a connection with this part. So that means we destroy our connection with this node which is two and we connect six with three and eight with six. This node will be in garbage and will be destroyed. Pretty easy, right? Maybe no. So let us try what we are going to do. At this point of time, we have information about current. Here we need to update this current.next, that is this position. At this point of time, this position carries seven. So current.next, dot next will be stored this here. So all I have to do is create a new variable or you can just directly refer it as current.next or you can store this particular position into a variable. Let me call it eight for now. I will give a new name. So eight will be stored in current dot next dot next. So that means we have this position and all I have to do is I need to store in our current dot next. I also need to store a new position here. So that means this is eight, eight dot prev will be connected with something. So I also need to update eight dot prev. So eight dot prev will store our current. That's it. You just need to update two fields current dot next and eight dot prev. Here, this is going to create lot of confusion while writing code because this next next this prev is going to create some confusion. So let us jump back to our code and discuss this also while writing code actually. So it will be quite easy for us. Just remove this part quickly and here all I have to do is let me add some space and all I have to do is the first thing I need to do is check the invalid operations. So I can copy from previous one actually. This is the case for invalid operation and let me add a LF condition. If my index position is equals to zero, all I have to do is jump here and first check that I have a next. If yes, then we are going to remove our head. If not, then we are directly going to refer this as none for both the values. So just jump here and check if we have next. So I'm just going to take a variable called current and here I'm going to connect this with my head dot next. And now I'm going to check if this current is valid or not. If this is valid, then I'm going to update that prev to none. That means I'm going to update this particular part to none. So we are going to lose this particular connection and this will be in garbage. But before that, we also need to update our head. So what we have to do is in both the cases, which is self dot head will be self dot head dot next. So self dot head, so that means our self dot head will store this position. If it is referred to six, then it's okay. If we don't have six, if this is the single element, we are going to store none here. So this will be none automatically. That's done. That's easy for us at this point of time. And then we just need, and then we just need to decrease our length. That is our current size. We also need to check if our length is zero, then we need to update our tail as none. If our size is zero, then we are going to update our tail as none. That's done. This looks fine. It is going to cover all our cases. Let me talk about the next case in which we are going to have our index position equals to our size minus one. 
when this is the case we are again going to approach something similar so all we have to do is just talk about our prev position so i'm going to take current and i'm going to take this position which is tail dot prev i need to check if there is something or not if there is nothing that means our head and tail is same so all i have to do is take my self dot tail dot prev and here i am going to add a condition so if we have this value then we are going to change it so all i have to do is use dot next equals to none so if we have this value we are going to update dot next to none that means we are losing this connection that's done and in both the cases we have to update our tail so what i'm going to do is update my tail with tail dot prev if we have this value it's good otherwise we have none by default if we have only a one element so all we have to do is use self dot tail as self dot tail dot prev once everything is done all we have to do is update our size and once that is done if the length is zero we are going to update our head as none as well So this was all the cases that we considered at the initial level. Then we need to talk about the else case. Else case plays an important part because that is the main case in which we are going to do all the other hard stuff. So let me take this else and inside this else case, what we are going to do is first let us start iterating towards the element which we need to delete. So if I need to delete index position two, I first need to reach index position one. So I am going to use a while loop again. So let me start with my head. So this is my current, which I'm going to refer to head. And now I'm going to initiate a while loop and this index will help us as counter. So I need to reach index position minus one. I'm going to update this current till the point I reach it. And this counter is going to help us. Now once we are reached to this particular point, we have updated our current. So now we have reached here. What we have to do is I need to update dot next and I need to update this eight. That's done. And then we need to update uh, size as always. So first I need to update my current dot next. That is this particular position at this point of time, it is referred as seven. I'm overwriting with eight. So current dot next is seven dot next will be eight. So current dot next dot next. Now our current dot next is eight. That means we have connected this one. So our current is this, our current dot next is eight at this point of time. Now what I need to do is I need to update this position for prev. So current dot next is eight, current dot next dot prev will be at this particular position. So I need to update it. All I have to do is use current dot next. Now we are at eight dot prev. This is the previous position and I need to update it with current. At this point of time, this particular position was related to seven and we have updated this with six. We have updated all the address. Once that is done, all I have to do is update my size and I just need to decrease it by one. That's done. So we have updated all the parts, all the values. Let me delete this extra space. So we have updated all the values and that's done for this particular point. Now before submitting our code, let me quickly view all the mistakes. So here we have defined our list node. Then we have initialized our, our value. Then we have our get condition, add condition, add head, add a tail. Okay, there is a spelling mistake. Then we have added index position and we are also looking at if the index position is greater than our current size. So this is the correct one. And then we have our deleted index position and here I missed a equals to because the given input cannot be equals to that means suppose I give a index position four, then I should get an error. So I should add a equals to it is going to cover both the condition and here I should add a size. This looks fine to me. And if I run my code now, we took 28 millisecond. Let me submit this code. Okay, we have an error. Okay, we have tail. 
submit this code again. This looks fine. Let me check out my result. So we took 212 milliseconds to complete this, which is greater than approximately 78% result. And this looks fine. We used extra memory. And the reason is we were doing doubly linked list. If this was singly linked list, it was quite efficient because then we don't need to use this prev. Also, we don't need to do all the other conditions for prev whenever we are doing. So I hope this lecture was helpful and now you have proper understanding to apply a doubly linked list. If you can do this, you can easily do singly linked list and all the other tasks that you need to perform with linked list. Thank you for following this lecture and I see you guys in the next one.